today's adventure, we're in Sturgis, South Dakota, right here on the corner of Junction and Main. Right behind us is the world famous Main Street in Sturgis. Hey, there's already a crowd here, a lot of bikes going on. We're going to take you around a little bit here and show you what's going on in Sturgis. They got a lot of things already going up. We're going to show you what that is. We're also going to show you a good restaurant. I don't know if you would call them a restaurant or not. A good great place to eat. There you go. <laughs> that's getting ready to open. So we're going to show you where that's at. And a lot of you may have already ate there last year. So they're actually going to be opening up real soon. And we're going to give you that information today. What else we got going on today? Uh, we got some interviews set up for the people in the city. That That's going to be next Monday. We're going to meet with a lot of the city officials. Yep. Get you some information. We did find out some information about uh, some motorcycle rentals and some service information that you might need when you're out here on your trip. Hopefully you won't need it, but just in case you do, we've got some good info for you for that. Yep, so that's pretty good. So let's go take a look and see what we can find today. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and ring that bell. So we got some more information here about some more action going on here in Sturgis. If you're looking for a motorcycle to rent, and you haven't seen our breaking news story yet, which might not have came out yet, we're gonna let you know that a gentleman that we know, Heavy, that actually has a shop down in Daytona that we did a shout out last year for, or actually this year for, down in Daytona. What's the name of his shop? Boulevard. It's Midwest Motorcycles and Rentals. Yep, so he's down there, he rents bikes, he repairs them, does all kinds of neat stuff. We just got off the phone with him. He's the one that's actually been here on the corner of Junction and Tilford Street. Actually, you can see the building behind us. I think they got a video sign or something. Hills, vending machines. Hills Vending. So he's been here for 22 years. He's been renting bikes out. But some of the other things he does is he offers 24-hour towing on motorcycles. He does repair 24 hours a day. So we're going to be checking back with him. But we're going to give you the information now. If you're looking for a bike to rent, he, he still has a few left. Give him a call because he'll be bringing them in here on either August 2nd or 3rd. So his phone number, if you want to call him, and Bob will run across the bottom here, is 386-257-6262. And that's his number down in Daytona, but it switches over to when he's up here too. So if you're looking for a bike to rent and you want to pick it up right here in Sturgis. Keep that, that number in your phone too, because if you need a tow for some reason, 24 hour tow service, he'll have all these up here also. And once he gets set up here on the second or the third, we'll come on by and we'll take a quick look and you get to meet Heavy. He's a great guy. He had a, he gave us a real tour of his shop. We got to take a lot of great video there. Uh, really great guy. He's actually one of the ones that are still on, what is it, Beach Bowl? Beach beach right there in Daytona where the rally used to be at yeah. so he's actually in the old school spot and he's so, got a lot of cool custom bikes too for sale too I don't know if he brings those along or check out his shop if you're ever in Daytona so you might be wondering where the heck are we at well where we're at is if you come down Junction you go underneath the 90 it turns into Bon Knocker Canyon Road ladybug <laughs> good luck <laughs> So what you, where are we at? We went 12 miles down that road and where are we at today? We're at the Pasta Corral. Mm. This is a place we recommended last year and we had a lot of our subscribers come out here and check this out because this is a one in a million place to stop. Uh, they got a spring fed pond here that has rainbow trout in it. Can't do no fishing. Big. And you can sit you can around it. They got a deck there. They're doing a bunch of landscaping here to fix it all up. But what we wanted to tell you is they're opening this Friday is their first day. I think it's the... July 23rd. That's right. At 5 p.m. They're only going to be open for the first night. They're going to just be evening. They'll be doing dinner till about 8 for food. And you can hang around and have beers and things like that. Wine. If you want to stay around longer. Only thing you need to tell you is it's cash only. So get, go to that ATM. Pull you out some cash. I don't think they got an ATM here or not. I don't think they do. Uh, but it's really great. We checked them out. They didn't want to talk today because... They've been working really hard and they're really the dirty and beautiful. they want to wait till they look nice and uh, <laughs> to talk to us. But I mean, walked around the property here and it's just gorgeous. So if you're out here already early for the rally, here's a place you can go to. And starting on Saturday, they'll be open their regular hours. And I forget what she said, but they'll definitely be open for lunch and dinner from Saturday on. So come on out here to the Pasta Corral and you tell, won't them, be sorry. tell them that Bob and Tam sent you out. Yep. Two thumbs up. Well, let's see what else we can get into today. <laughs> let's go. Looks like Michael Ballard got him a couple new rigs to put out here. 
We seen this back in the back of water the other day. I have to see where he's going to put this guy at. They're getting ready. This weekend coming up is going to be the UTV rally out here. Uh, if you're going to come out here and do some mudding, they got some tracks set up and all kinds of excitement. So we'll be back out here and see what's going on. Looks like somebody's been doing some welding, some artwork, some steel beams. I bet you you're not going to be able to move them anywhere. Uh, no, nobody will be stealing those. It's like some nice language on them. Oh yeah. Looks like they might have painted the tables or did something to them a little different. There's the Harley sign that they got and also the church steeple. Not quite sure where they're going to put all that at. Yeah, a couple of big poles up there they're going to be putting. Yeah, it looks like uh, almost looks oh, they're probably going to put that bridge. That other half of the bridge is probably going to come across somewhere there. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what their plans are. I don't know if we'll ever be able to get back up on top of those bridges as we have done previous years, back when it was the old Full Throttle Saloon out there at the old spot. We used to be able to sit on those bridges. And watch the concerts. Yeah, so I don't know, due to the fire, if they're afraid to do anything with that anymore or not. They're not as stable. Uh, we can ask Jesse. I don't know if we'll ever catch up with Michael again during the rally here, yeah. but we'll see. They're on full speed ahead right now. Yep. A few things. I brought the old bus back over. The two buses, the trucks that they have there on the full throttle signs, FTS signs, those are from the old place. Looks like they're doing a lot of work. Pouring concrete. Got some more old trucks out there in the back. Some of those trucks might be ones that actually pulls their uh, trucks that they have. Used to go to a lot of the other rallies. I don't know if they're doing any of the other old rallies or not. Yep. Looks like they're doing some work out here on the uh, bar, making it bigger. And a lot of the chairs and furniture and stuff out yet either. We'll have to wait and see. Where was their new burnout pit they were talking about? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to look. Somebody was saying there was going to be a brand new burnout pit. Well, they acted like they already had it all done. I don't know. It should be up here. Over here. Should be up here by the bar. Let's go see. It's like we have a little bit of an older crowd that watches us, but also we got some young guys, so maybe they can look this up on YouTube. We used to say, look at this guy, this could be Mr. Green Jeans, but we're gonna call him today Mr. Blue Jeans. He just got a fresh new coat of jeans put on this week. So check him out. He's a new man. Let us know if you know who Mr. Green Jeans is. <laughs> check it out, Evil Knievel got a new helmet. Last time we were out here the other day, if you watched the video, he had no head. So he's got his head back and now he's got a shiny new white helmet to go with it. We're here at the Pappy Hoyle campground. The bike we're looking at actually came out of the old full throttle saloon over there that burned up. So they brought this out and it's hanging over the check-in here at the Pappy Hoyle campground. We'll have some more information. It's kind of a red light. They got shining on it. Let me go to the other side. Maybe it won't be so bad. Get new showers. A little better here than have that quite red light shining on it. That's the bike that came out of the old full throttle that burned up and it was one of the bikes that were in the main building. They brought down here, put it at the Pappy Hoyle campground and uh, we don't have an interview yet. Jesse's still out on the road and Penny hasn't shown up yet to start checking people in. So we'll be back and give you some more information here on the full throttle and Pappy Hoyle campground. Looks like you're gonna get new showers. Hey, that looks like a winner here for the full throttle if you're staying at Pappy Hoyle's. Looks like they're doing a lot of work. Looks like they got plenty of TP here. You won't be running out of that either. Jesse knows how to take care of you here at the Pappy Hole Campground. Looking over there in the distance, you can see a skeleton head that they're making out of metal that'll probably be ready for the uh, rally. So we'll have to see where the heck they're gonna put that monster thing at.
So I drove by here a while ago and I should have got a shot then, but we've got uh, a while ago when we drove by up the street, we're doing another video. This parking lot was full. The first row here was completely full of bikes. So they're already showing up. And we still got a couple weeks to go yet before it shows up. There's some more signs that are going on that you know the rally's getting close. They put, they are putting up all the banners today. I seen them up here a little bit earlier and I'm gonna show you some of the banners that they've already got up to welcome you to the rally. So we got an Amsoil one. I'm gonna go down and take a look at a couple other ones. Rock Fort, uh, audio they've got a banner up that they're gonna have right down here we're gonna show you Go ahead and wrap up today right here. Getting a little windy. Hopefully the mic's doing its job and not getting it blow away. I can hardly hold the stick it's blowing around so much. Uh, don't forget if you're coming out here, you know those weather can change drastically. Today we're up in the 90s again. I'd say we're getting pretty close to about 95 or 96 today. Uh, getting kind of muggy too. So we're you know coming the, down off Anaka Road. I think when I looked on the the thermometer, it said it was 89, but. Yeah. It's getting warm. So we got to take a drive out. Uh, we actually went out and did our route today that we're going to be doing on our ride, which is going to be on August. Yes. And uh, we did map that all out. We got one of our subscribers. George. Is going to make maps <laughs> for us. And uh, so we got all the key points and everything like that. We took the truck out because I needed to make sure she could ride while we were clocking the miles. Yeah. But uh, the road wasn't too bad. Uh, Spearfish Canyon's not too bad at this point. This is Monday that we're filming this. Uh, traffic wasn't too bad out there. I got a, behind a couple of slow pokes in their cars. They pulled uh, over though. Finally. <laughs> and uh, so that wasn't After too we bad. Right on their so I went out there to Von Nakaro, went around over there. Uh, got to talk to Margaret from the Paso Corral and she's getting all geared up for all you guys to come out. That's right. Friday, it. she's already open. Yep. We might have to go out there and get some pasta on mm -hmm. Friday. You know, great place to go. And then after that, they're going to be open all the time, all the way through up until the rally's over. Right. So if you want to go out there and they got some entertainment and all kinds of different stuff going on. But remember, it's always a cash bar only. Cash for food too. Yeah. So remember that if you're going out there, take a handful of cash with you. And actually, it's not very expensive, so you don't need a whole lot of cash. Yeah. Unless you're going to drink a lot of that wine. Or beer. It might add up. <laughs> but they got good prices and stuff like that. In it. But I mean, the town's really stepping up here. There's a lot of things going on. You know, the banners were all up. There's some tents going up. You know, Hot Leather's got all their tents up. Uh, we've seen some other stands building up their stands. Uh, we've got a tr uh, one of our vendors over here. What's his name next door? Johnny. Johnny, that has all that great food. Sells a little bit of everything. Yeah, he does. great iced tea and lemonade, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully we got him on the video today. Uh, we've been trying to catch up with him. He's always out. Walking around when we come up. <laughs> and uh, so that's okay. Must but, be doing his exercise. Yeah, I'm getting ready for the rally because he probably knows he's going to be standing in there for a long time. <laughs> that's right. Uh, and so far, the crowds are really building. You can see, I didn't really get a good shot of all those motorcycles in front of the Harley dealer here in town. But I mean, it, it, there was a lot of bikes there when we were drove by the first time. But I wanted to get down there and give you that information about rental bikes. So if you need that, make sure you get a hold of Heavy down there in Daytona, which he'll, he'll probably be on his way heading this way pretty soon. And uh, remember, you got to have a tow 24 hours a day he's the guy also you're broke down right down here in downtown or i don't know how far you'll go which we'll sit down and talk to him when he gets in town on the second or the third once he gets all set up we'll get a shot out from him because he's a really good guy uh, i don't know if he's bringing up his mechanic he had a really good mechanic there last time uh they so have my, some pretty cool bikes that they put together and they sell some if you're ever in daytona i don't know if he's bringing any of the bikes with him but he's got a lot of real classic choppers bikes. and all oh, kinds of stuff he's really got. cool yep so we're gonna go ahead and leave you right here in downtown Sturgis. Behind us is the world famous Sturgis Motorcycle Museum. That if you're down here, check that out. Who runs that? Who's in there? Emma. Make sure if you're in there, you see Emma, tell her that Bob and Tam sent you in there. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and leave you right here. So subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share us with your family and friends. Think about Patreon, give us a big thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications and we'll see you on the next video. Hear those motorcycles, they're roaring in town now. Yeah, they are. They're everywhere.
See you tomorrow. Be safe.